Hey there, I have a question for you. Are all the good band names already taken? I mean, if you've got a band and you got to come up with a name, isn't that the worst thing? The, the only thing worse than a bad name is no name. You got to have a name for your band. Um, and uh, actually, <laughs> one time I thought about having a band called TBA <laughs> to be announced because then it would look like you were playing all over town. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am very guilty of having not very good band names myself. Maybe at the time I thought they were good. Uh, my first band in junior high, I actually came up with $5 when I was 13 years old <laughs> to, to have a contest to name my band. And one of the older kids in the neighborhood came up with the name Crosswind, and that was the winner. <laughs> and he got it from a Billy Cobham album. Uh, so... That's an awful band name, but it was our first band name. We were doing like Zeppelin tunes and Who tunes and things like that. My next band in high school was mainly just played disco and top 40 music. Uh, keep in mind, this was 77, 78, 79, somewhere around there. And um, we were called Rendezvous, which actually, that's not a bad name. It kind of sounds like, you know, you're thinking Rendezvous, France. French, it's European, European disco, all that kind of stuff. It kind of made some sense. Uh, so it's not a horrible band name, uh, but, but the music wasn't the best music to be playing at the time. After that band, when I was in college, I was in a band called Malachi. And I didn't name that band, but the, the trumpet player who named the band liked the name Genesis and thought, well, the first book of the Bible is a good band name, so why not the last book of the Old Testament? And that's Malachi. Um, Although the problem with Malachi is it didn't sound anything like Genesis. It was a funk band with a horn section. So we were playing old Earth, Wind and & Fire and Commodore's tunes back when they were being all funky. And it was great music, but not a very good band name. Uh, when I moved to California, my first band uh, that I had uh, was a trio. And we were trying to be the police. And it had a bass player that sang. And I was the guitar player and had a drummer. And I named the band Body, B-O-D-Y, not a good band name. And my thinking though was that I was trying to come up with something that was pseudo-Christian. Uh, the, there's a phrase, a term called body of Christ and talk about the church being the body. And um, so the church body has different parts and everybody has a different role to play. And so that's what I was thinking. You have different roles in body, uh, bass player, guitar player, drummer, singer. <laughs> Those are the parts of the body. So it was a bad name. Uh, and we played around town a little bit. My wife and I started a band and we call it was kind of like um, a little bit like you 2 ish with a female singer, maybe a little bit of John Mellencamp kind of alternative acoustic um, and we called it, I called it, I came up with the name, Rumors of War. And again, another biblical reference. Um, the, uh, there's a Bible verse, I think, in Matthew that says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. And so I thought Rumors of War was a cool band name. You know, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're going to be telling about wars to come or whatever. So, uh, but it sounded like a heavy metal band. Everybody that came to see us was expecting metal music, and that's just not what we were. So the name can kind of conjure uh, the style. Later, my wife and I, uh, just the two of us, did a record and we called the band Porch because I thought, oh, okay, it's music you would sit on the porch and play. And there's another band called Porch, and, it, and Porch isn't a very good band name, and it wasn't a very good name, band name for us, but it was still better than no name. You have to have a name. Um, so I want you to put down in the comments some of your band names, legitimate, real band names that you were, bands that you were in. Uh, because I just think it'd, it'd be fun to, to see. And if you've got some from junior high and high school, that's even better. Band names, especially ones that you thought were amazing, great band names. I would love to see those. Uh, and if you have a band now that you think is a good band name, let us disagree with you. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, like I said, it's really hard. The greatest band of all time, the Beatles. Awful band name, in my opinion. Um, they were trying to be like uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets. Um, and then they were the Silver Beatles, um, so, but it was E.E. E. And then John thought it would be a great idea to, change, to put, change one of the E's to an A to make the beat, you know, like the beat of music. Um, just not a very good band name. However, testimony to the fact that great music will overcome a bad band name any day. I mean, you hear the name The Beatles and you don't think of a bug and you definitely think of great music. And so you... you you definitely have to put your time into the music so that it overshadows your band name. Uh, the Rolling Stones, I don't think that's a very good band name. Um, the, the, the 
cliche of Rolling Stone gathers no moss, I'm sure predates the Rolling Stones. That's probably where they got the name from. I just don't think you should use a cliche for a band name. I, I, that just sounds old to me. But, you know, I would be proven wrong. Uh, they've been very successful. Led Zeppelin, actually, I think is that's a pretty good band name. I worked at a record store called The Stone Balloon that was probably named for Led Zeppelin, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, back in the 70s, I worked there. But Led Zeppelin's a pretty good name. Also, I think Nine Inch Nails is a really good name. And both Led Zeppelin and Nine Inch Nails, the music does sound like the name. It just kind of, it, it does make sense. The Who, uh, they came up with their name because somebody said, what's your band name? And they said it, and they said, uh, Who? And, the, and then they go, oh, that's an idea of the Who. Uh, you know, uh, coming up with a band name um, from someone who's deaf <laughs> is probably not the best source for a band name. The Guess Who is also not a very good band name, in my opinion. Radiohead, my favorite band other than the Beatles, and uh, I've, there's nothing particularly radio about Radiohead. You know, they don't get a lot of radio play, and that's part of the reason why I like them. Uh, they are definitely cutting edge. They are the best just the best music creators out there right now, but um, their band name might be better if it was Soundtrack Head or Movie Score Head because their music is much more, much bigger than just Top 40 Radio or anything like that. Uh, Black Sabbath, not a bad band name. It was from a horror movie. Uh, it was the name of a horror movie. Um, it's it's uh, it's not a bad band name. It sound you know that's a, they sound like what their origin of their name is. Okay, um, Duran Duran that was uh, the villain in the movie Barbarella. Um, so it's kind of a name that you wouldn't you probably wouldn't know that, um, and so you wouldn't have an opinion on it. Um, Def Leppard that came one of the one of the bandmates I think drew a drawing of a leopard with no ears and he called it a Def Leppard. And uh, that's where they got their name from. Uh, not, not thinking it's a, I don't think that's a very good name, but the music's great. So, you, you know, again, you just, uh, you gotta, the music's gonna have to overshadow any name you come up with. Um, the Smiths, the reason they, Morrissey, they chose the Smiths was because they wanted a name that had no preconceptions. And the Smiths is a great name for that. Um, I feel like, yeah, you, wh who is that with the Smiths? It's, you can't get more ordinary than that. Um, and again, they, their music eclipsed their name. Not a great name, but it eclipsed the name. Now, Johnny Marr came up with a band after that, and it was called The The. That's an awful name. <laughs> Not good. Uh, but, you know, he probably got his reason for that. Now, U2 is an example of a name that I think is mis a, a band that's misnamed. Um, great band. They've way overshadowed the name. Uh, they called, could have called themselves B3. Uh, but they called them themselves U2 because they were saying all of U2, that was kind of this, this communal thing. We're all in this together kind of thing. And, um, to, but I, I don't know if they knew that U2 was a, 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 a German sub or a, a spy plane. But that, <laughs> because this, this is a band, U2 is a band that kind of got known initially as the anti-war anthem band. Uh, from Ireland. So, okay. Now, these are some real band names that I found on the internet. Okay. These are actual bands that exist. And, and so this is just for fun because these are really funny. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, some of them I'm going to have to edit out. But uh, one of my favorites is Furious George, Adios Pantaloons, Admiral Poopy Pants, and the Dancing Teeth. Uh, you know, that might have been better. Admiral Pooping Pants and his swimming teeth. <laughs> so, armed and hammered. <laughs> what kind of music is that? I, that's got to be a metal band, or at least a hard rock band. Armed and hammered. Afghanistan Bananistan. I'm not sure what kind of music that would be. Band that shot Liberty Valance. <laughs> well, this is a pretty clever name, but... I, I don't know if I would get in my car and drive across town to see him. Uh, Brady Bunch Lawnmower Massacre. Sorry. Brady Bunch Lawnmower Massacre. Actual band name. Uh, Captain Crunch and the Serial Killers. Yeah, that's a band name. Earth Pig and Fire. <laughs> now we know what they're... Earth Wind and Fire is not a bad band name, but it's also, uh, to me, Earth Wind and Fire seems... I think that's a cliche, right? That pre-existed... The band, so they just took a saying that already existed and turned it into a band name, which isn't bad. But Earth, Pig, and Fire is definitely worse. 
Uh, <laughs> now this band I might get in my car and drive across town to see Endangered Feces. <laughs> uh, full Throttle Aristotle. Full Metal Chicken. Full Metal Chicken, it's probably got to be a metal band. If they were if they were a country band, I might be disappointed. Although Chicken, you know, I could see, yeah. Uh, Goldfish Don't Bounce. See, there's a name that doesn't betray any style of music, in my opinion. But this one does, Guitarantula. Again, we got another metal band or hard rock band, Guitarantula. Here's one that I don't think would conjure any... I have no idea what this band sounds like. This is, these are actual band names, by the way. Half Man, Half Biscuit. <laughs> okay. Again, I want you to put your band names down below, okay? You may have some like this. In fact, you may be members of some of these bands. I don't know. I remember seeing a band, uh, a friend of mine was in a band called The Trophy Husbands. I thought that was a pretty funny name. Hamster Sandwich. Hitler Stole My Potato. That sounds like a good band name. Icky Boyfriends. Now that's kind of like the Trophy Husbands. Actually, it's the opposite of the Trophy Husbands. <laughs> Jehovah's Waitresses. That's a girl band. Okay, now here, here's a name. I, I'm not sure what kind of music this would be. Tell me what you think this band sounds like. And probably there may be some, hey, we might be able to find them on YouTube. Uh, Jiggle the Handle. <laughs> this one's just wrong here. John Cougar Concentration Camp. <laughs> Microwavable Tree Frogs? No, not a good band name. Not Drowning Waving. Actually not a bad band name. Uh, that that kind of sounds like the Talking Heads or something like that. Not Drowning Waving. Um, people with Chairs Up Their Noses. Not a good band name. Pepto-Dismal. <laughs> Here's one that we can all relate to. We all know what this tastes like, but we may not know what it sounds like, and that's Orange Juice After Toothpaste. Um, poop Shovel. That's probably an all-dog band. Poultry in Motion would be an all-chicken band. Uh, String Cheese Incident. Actual band. I've heard of this band. I don't know what kind of music they are, but I'm going to listen to them and find out, hmm, String Cheese Incident. That, that's not a good name. <laughs> it's still not a good name. Uh, and then last but not least, Two for Flinchin'. That's actually a pretty good band name. It's kind of a fun band name. Uh, in fact, if your name was Two for Flinching, you probably have to be kind of a power pop band or something, uh, like a hard rock pop band. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. This is just for fun, and I will talk to you soon. God bless you, and uh, good luck naming your band. Uh, it's probably why I'm not in a band anymore, because I don't want to have to come up with a name. Oh. <laughs>